Mostly in Vancouver, so it's, it's, it's nice. It's hot at the moment, but you guys have also the heat wave, right? Huh? Yeah, it's just, it's just how it is now. It's, it's crazy, yeah. So, it's not as bad as last year, though. True, I mean, true. We had last year, it was over 40, yeah. yeah. It's just, yeah. I don't know what's going on with the weather. <laughs> Are we good? Okay. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Hofbauer Spitzer. I'm with Transoft Solutions. And I would like to show you a little bit about Otis today. And this is the app in the ITE TripChat app. So, a lot of people of you guys here know probably the typical ITE graph lookup page. What we developed is Otis Pro, where you can actually save all your projects and you can go through a normal DIA. So for this one, I'm just going and generate a new product, project, and let's call it project one. Here you can already uh, choose if you want to have multi-model uh, adjustments and trip reduction. So I leave this with yes. The next step is we are just adding different land uses actually to our project. The first one is, for example, 710. You just type in the number, it's the same as you have in your normal ITE TripGen web app, and just say add. Perfect. And automatically, you can see, you can choose between the different independent variables what you like to have. Then you can also see all the different time periods. You have the values inside. And let's say we are taking the weekday, the BM peak, and I'm using 150 square feet. Automatically, the program gives you the method what the best one is. So you don't really have to think about it actually if you're using the right method, if you're using you know, the LN or other one. So it automatically recommends you the right ones. And you have already your first entry and exit trips, what you have. So I'm just putting a couple more inside that you can see how fast it is. Next one, for example, is 210. This is a single family detached housing. And you can see already here there's a warning that you have actually not the appropriate time period. So automatically you can change them here. And I'm using dwelling units and I'm saying, let's say, 80 units. And again, as soon as you can see here, actually, that it's marked off, so it should be everything fine here. Then let's do another one. This would be 2020. And you can see the network is a little bit slow here in the conference. <laughs> so I'm going again with the 200. And I'm again I'm using the BMP. Perfect. And you can see here, for example, you know that uh, there's no check mark. So uh, this can be because you know sometimes you don't have enough data from the ITE trip gen because they're giving you just sometimes three numbers or something like this. But what you can also choose. You can also choose, you know, if you can, so in our case, actually, it's the only one available. So that's the reason, actually, why they didn't do anything. And I'm just putting one more inside. This is 945. This is your convenience store uh, with the gas station. And I'm using here actually 12 gas pumps. And again, I'm using my BM peak hour. Here you can see as soon as you're changing some of them, for example, let's say I'm taking the weekday, also your method can will change. So it's really the exactly like the ITE drip gen manual. It pulls the same information out. The next one is here, for example, we have the multimodal adjustments. You can have 100% passenger vehicles, or you can say 90% and 5%, and you have 5% for other modes. And you can do this for entry and exit separately, or you can just leave it how it is, for example, let's say 80%, 10%, uh, 10% and so on. 
In addition, you can already also change your vehicle occupancy method. So you really, how many vehicles, how many people are in your vehicle. You can change this around. Let's see it this way. And then for example, or say here 80 and five, just to get you a little bit of the feeling. The next thing, what I really want to show you today is the red reduction. So it's the internal vehicle trip reduction. A lot of people, when they're through the procedure, they know all the Excel sheets, you know, where they have manually calculate how many trips are going from one land use to the next one. And it's a pain in the butt for some of them. So what we actually here do, it's automatically, and it already uh, says, for example, you can, it's land use as per the ITE recommended ones. So it just ch choose which land use actually are interacting with each other, for example. And all what you're doing is just press next. And then actually all the um, factors are coming automatically. You still can change actually and make your customized rates what you want, or you can just use the typical ITE ones, what they are recommending. And you can see, and in the end, you're getting actually all your internal vehicle trips. The next thing we have also best by vehicle trip reduction that you really can say, for example, for your convenience store, uh, you want to have other best by vehicles, for example, or for your multifamily, let's say the general office, for example. It's not applicable, but let's say we want to have 10% actually from our outside traffic, maybe is using this ones. And you can have also diverted vehicle trip reduction. Again, you can change what you want. And then you have also extra vehicle reduction. So in the end, then actually, you can just look at your uh, trip generation summary, where it gives you all the different land uses what you have. The vehicle trips before the reduction. Then you have your multimodal adjusted vehicle trips. Then you have all your reductions according to your internal vehicle trip reduction, your best by vehicle trip reduction. Then you have also your new vehicle. And then this is actually uh, also person, car and your truck. And also the person trips by others. If you have also multimodal, for example, you really can just look actually at how many uh, pedestrian you will get actually for this one. You can export this whole table then also in Excel. And uh, we have a couple other tools then actually where you can also uh, assign the trips on the network where you can then also um, export your traffic volumes from your intersection directly to Syncro and just modify your intersection and further with it. Perfect, that's it. Thank you so much.